Hi friends, welcome back to another pen review. We're going to be talking about the Lamy Safari today. So thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Diego Digoin. If this is your first time here, I go by Diane Dual Pen because I write with both hands and I am a fine artist, an author, as well as an art educator. So friends, before we get started today, I'd like to encourage you to go check out my most recent video I made. It is a mini documentary featuring an artist who inspires me greatly day in and day out, and that's Carly Lake. This documentary was made for a contest that I entered where you're asked to feature a creative who you admire greatly. The Lamy Safari. Now this pen right here is a wonderful entry level pen and we'll get into some of the details as to why. First off, the pen is made from plastic and therefore it is a very light pen. Very comparable to the weight of something like the Pilot G2. Moving over to this kind of pen coming from a more traditional ballpoint or gel point pen, the weight won't be a factor that you need to consider in your adjustment to the pen. The pen is a little pricier than something like the Pilot Metropolitan, which is a heavier pen. And because it's heavier, it tends to feel more premium. And this pen, because it's made of plastic and because it is so light, tends to feel a little less premium. However, it is a high quality fountain pen regardless. The pen features a very unique grip. Uh, compared to other pens that I've used, it has these two flat points on the grip that are intended to fit your, your grip and allow for your fingers to have a nice spot to rest. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about how that contributes to the writing experience a little later. The plastic on the Lamy Safari does have this very light, coarse texture to it. it it's almost as if it's a sandblasted plastic. So it, it's very nice to the touch. It feels very soft. It isn't bothersome in any way. Uh, and although it's made of plastic, it does not feel cheap at all. The pen also features an ink window, which amongst the three entry-level pens that I'll be discussing or that I, that I will discuss for my first reviews um, is unique. So this ink window is actually very, very useful. The filling mechanism on this pen is very straightforward. You can either buy cartridges for the Lamy pens, which are proprietary, so you can only use the cartridges that they sell, but you can buy a cartridge converter, which unfortunately does not come with the pen. Uh, you have to buy that separately, so that does add to the cost of the pen. But I think if you're buying this as your first pen, and you want to get the most out of this as your first pen, the cartridge converter is definitely worth it, and that allows you to utilize ink from any sort of fountain pen uh, ink jar that is available to you. So it greatly widens the variety of ink that you can tap into. Another part of the design that I didn't talk about is this clip. This is a very distinct Lamy clip. They've used it in the Lamy Safari and they also use it in the Lamy Vista and Lamy LX, which are basically more premium versions of this basic Lamy Safari for, uh, pen. So the clip is very functional. It's very easy to put on and off your shirt. Very good design. Personally, I love the aesthetic of this pen. I love that it, the way it looks. It does have somewhat of a rigid quality to it, but it's also somewhat minimalistic in that sense, and, and I can appreciate that. Um, although I do have some fancier pens, which are quite nice as well, I think the simplicity of this pen is, is really appealing and attractive. And after I received this pen, I actually went on and purchased the Lamy LX in Palladium, which is essentially the same pen, essentially a more premium version of the pen. So the great thing about the Lamy Safaris is that they're highly customizable. First of all, they come in a boatload of colors. And I believe annually or semi-annually, they are coming out with limited edition colors. So it's really popular for people to collect the Lamy Safaris in all of their different colors. And they also usually come out with an accompanying ink color for the special edition color that comes out. So that's something that people can get excited about. I personally don't collect pens in that way, but I know that some people really enjoy doing that. Another thing about the Lamy Safari that creates this high level of customization is the ability to take the nib off and replace it with any kind that you would like. And Lamy sells nibs individually. So for example, the nib that I got on this pen originally was a bold point pen, a uh, point nib. And I, I've used that quite a bit because I, have enjoyed that. I think it's one of my only, it might be my only bold 
nib pen. And I, I personally prefer a finer tip because I like to practice a lot of cursive and cursive is, um, is more better executed with a fine point in my opinion. However, this bold point has provided a very smooth writing experience and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. And so what I've done is I've actually gone out and I purchased the Lamy LX which came with a fine point nib on it and I'm able to interchange the nibs between those two pens so I can actually take this nib off and put a fine point on here and Lamy sells a variety of nibs as well they have an extra fine a fine a medium a bold they also have stub nibs and and that's another way that you can customize the writing experience for this pen and it can feel like a new pen as a result of doing that and um, I've actually purchased a stub nib and the stub nib is a lot of fun to use as well. You buying this pen as your first pen, it's a little more expensive compared to some of the other entry level pens, but there are a lot more options in the long run. So you can have a whole new writing experience without having to buy an entirely new pen. Another cool thing about the Lamy Safari nib selection is that they actually have recently released a, uh, I believe it's either a 14 karat or an 18 karat gold nib. and you can have that gold nib writing experience on a pen that was only originally $35. And I think that's a great way to tiptoe into the realm of writing with a gold nib. And if you're not sure if you really wanna you know, spend that kind of money, you can buy just the nib and see if the experience is worth it for you. Now, as far as the writing experience goes, I've really enjoyed writing with the Lamy Safari. The nib is exceptionally smooth. It came very well tuned straight out of the box. The only thing is that my Lamy LX came with a fine nib and that one's a little scratchier compared to the bold nib. So um, I would say that it, it may vary. It may vary depending on who you're buying the pen from. The LX, I did get it from Mass Drop. This one as well I got from Mass Drop. Um, but I felt like the LX nib was a little scratchier than it probably should have been and the flow was more restricted than it should have been. So it may vary a little bit uh, in your own experience, but if you buy from reputable dealers, they will definitely take care of your nib and, and ensure that your nib is working properly and tuned properly prior to receiving the pen. So that's something um, to consider when buying the pen. You definitely want to buy from somebody reputable. Um, if you're willing to just take the risk on a pen, um, Amazon's a great choice because you can easily return your item. So I'll leave my Amazon affiliate links down below. If you want to support this channel, you can purchase through those links and I will get a small kickback from your purchases. So in regards to the writing experience, one thing that I'm not particularly a fan of is the grip section of the Lamy Safari and all of the Lamy Vista, the Lamy LX, they all feature this same styled grip and it's even worse on the LX and the Vistas in my opinion because this is not a um, kind of a sandblasted or you know textured plastic, it's very smooth plastic, shiny plastic and I find that over a long period of time if my hands build up any sort of moisture I start losing the grip on my pen and also the flat points on this grip, I wouldn't say match up with my normal grip. As far as the nib goes, it's been very pleasant. However, the grip just doesn't match up with what I would prefer. Uh, and that's just personal preference. Some people might have a grip that matches what the Lamy Safari is, is asking of you perfectly. And for them, it is a wonderful pen. So it might be something that you just need to try and see if it works for you. Maybe you go to a local pen show and you can try out and hold the Lama Safari in person and you might find that it is a wonderful grip for your writing style. So that's something to take into consideration. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into some writing samples with the Lama Safari. This is a bold nib and it's the nib that will be going out to the winner of the giveaway. The bold nib is quite smooth. And the bold nib is also quite nice for printing. So I've just been switching nibs, so I had to get the ink down into the nib once again. So. Oh, there we go. 
so used to writing in cursive that printing is sometimes on. You can hear a tad bit of feedback from this nib, but that just has to do with the angle that the nib touches the paper at. Bold nib especially keeps up with the pace of my writing. So if I'm writing quickly, keep up. So it's quite a wet nib. You can do a wet test. Is that how you do it? So it's not the wettest nib. This paper too is very absorbent so it's not a rhodia paper or high quality felt pen paper. So that's pretty much it. You can see the bold nib is pretty round in its point so the line varies very slightly and not really at all. So I hope the winner of this pen enjoys it. It is quite a wonderful pen to write with.